The new CAT M-Series small wheelers are packed with features to make your work easy. Let's have a look at some of those new features together. Come on in. Now the family of M-Series small wheelers features an intelligent high-stat powertrain system, which allows you as an operator to separate ground speed with left pedal control and engine speed or power with the right pedal control. Now we'd like to share some operator tips with you so you can get the most out of your new intelligent high stat powertrain. Come on in and let's have a look at some of those features. Now with the intelligent high stat powertrain in the M-Series small wheeler, you can safely shift between range one, two, three, and four on the go. You can shift up or you can shift down without risk of any damage because we simply increase or decrease the amount of flow that we send to the high stat. Now let's put that into application, starting with range one and on to roading. In gear, max RPM, range one. I'm just creeping along. I can shift into second. Now note, I can easily shift back to first and the machine will slow down to that ground speed. All the way to third. And on up this hill and fourth, on to roading. Now here as I get to the job site, I can shift down to third. I can get my bucket full, back into fourth, and on for roading. Now you can also make hard directional shifts from forward to reverse or reverse to forward with this intelligent high stat powertrain. You can do this in any speed range at any RPM. The intelligent high stat powertrain is governed by an intelligent power management system which is going to decelerate, make the shift, and accelerate back out, eliminating any risk to any components. Let's have a look together. Here I am in range two. I'm going to put it into forward maximum RPM and hard shift into reverse. It'll slow down, make the shift into forward. It'll slow down, make the shift, and accelerate back out. Now into range three. Hard directional shift to reverse. It'll slow down, make the directional shift, and off we go. Now hard directional shift into forward. It will slow down, make the shift, and accelerate back out. Now range four, max RPM, hard directional shift. It'll slow down, make the shift, and again, accelerate back out. And into forward, range four, hard directional shift into forward. It's gonna slow down, make the shift, and accelerate back out. Now you can make these hard directional shifts at any speed range and in any RPM because the intelligent high stat powertrain governed by our intelligent power management system is going to eliminate any potential damage in the powertrain components. We'll slowly reduce that ground speed, make the shift, and accelerate back out. And remember, in a high stat drive system, we're simply increasing or decreasing the amount of flow we make. We're not making hard mechanical shifts. And that's going to help us keep this machine on your job site for a lot of hours. Now the intelligent high stat powertrain gives us independent control of engine speed with right foot and ground speed with left foot. Now when we combine that with throttle lock, we can take our engine speed all the way to maximum RPM. We can reach over and engage our throttle lock and then we can let our right foot rest. Now because we have that independent control, we can then bring our machine speed to a full complete stop without kicking out throttle lock. Now here in this example, I'm in range three. I've got my ground speed pedal pushed all the way to zero ground speed, and I'm gonna put it in gear. Now it's not gonna move until I modulate that left pedal control. So as I let my foot all the way off, the machine will go maximum relative to the ground speed. 
But as I use my left pedal control, notice that I can control my ground speed completely independent of engine speed, giving me excellent control of both wheel torque and ground speed to meet any application requirement. This is also a very welcome feature for roading environments. As you approach an intersection, as an example, you can use this ground speed control pedal to bring your speed to a nice controlled stop and navigate on through without having to kill your engine speed. Now let's put that intelligent high stat powertrain to work here in a sand and gravel plant where we're going to load various colored sands into a screener and we're going to utilize the independent control of engine speed with right foot and ground speed or wheel torque with left foot. Now let's put them to work together. Into forward. Now as we creep into the pile, we're going to go to maximum RPM and we're going to manage our wheel torque with our left foot. Combination pedal work here. Into reverse. Into forward. And I'm going to start my lift cycle as I approach the screen and I'm also going to modulate my ground speed with my left foot. Using my engine speed I can modulate my implements to give a nice steady feed to the screener. And as I need to slowly creep in to feed to the center line of the screen, I've got great control with that left pedal. Wrap out any material that may be hung up in the bucket. Back to level detent. Back away from the screener push it into float, it's going to go down and catch itself at the program kick out point, into forward and we're ready for the next pass. Now as I hit the pile, max RPM for quick digging, manage my wheel torque with my left foot, combination pedal work here, into reverse as I back out of the pile, make my direction change. Now as I approach the screen, I'm going to pull the lift and manage my implement speed with my RPM and joystick. And as I approach the screener, I'm going to use my left pedal to slow my ground speed and keep my implements quick. A nice steady feed rate into the screener with quick implement speeds. And I can creep into the screener to feed to the center line of it. quick shake of any material that might be hung up in the bucket, into reverse, back to level bucket condition as I back away from the screener, I can push it into float and I'm ready for the next pass. As you can see, that intelligent high stat powertrain that gives you independent control of engine speed and ground speed or wheel torque control is an excellent feature for maximizing overall efficiency, operator comfort, and production. Now let's put throttle lock to work for us here in application where we're using the M-Series small wielder to amend two different colors of sand through a screener. Now throttle lock can be set anywhere from 1000 to 1800 RPM when you're running in performance mode or HP plus mode. Now you don't have to set that throttle lock at max RPM. I personally like to run it at about 1400 revs and when I need more power or more implement speed I can simply use my right foot to push further through to that max setting. Now because we're also running in an intelligent high stat powertrain system I can use my left foot to modulate my ground speed and let my right foot rest when I'm running at that 1400 revs. Let's see how to make that setting together and let's put the machine to work. Go ahead and use your right foot to increase your RPM to about 1400. We can do a push and we've engaged throttle lock and it's remembered it. Now if you want to do a push and hold on throttle lock, you can then fine tune that speed. So I'm going to go right at that 1400 speed. Now let's put this machine to work. 
I'm running in range two, torque converter mode. Now as I hit the pile, I can actually go to maximum speed up to 1600 revs. I'm running here in standard mode. Use my left foot to modulate my wheel torque. As I back away from the pile into forward, I can use my left ground speed control only to modulate as I approach the screen. With throttle lock engaged, I've got good implement speed. And I can slowly creep in to do a steady feed into the center line of the screener. A nice little shake to get any material that's, stung, huh? that's hung up in there out. Back to level bucket, into reverse, and I'm gonna back away from the screener. And push it into float, it'll come down and catch itself. It'll snub when it gets there, and I'm ready for the next pass. Now again, running at 1400 revs here, as I approach the pile, I can give max RPM for max speed while I'm digging. reverse and back out using just my left foot to modulate my ground speed control into forward pull my implements nice controlled speed running at 1400 revs with throttle lock on use my left pedal ground speed control to slowly creep into the screener giving a nice steady feed with that engine RPM locked at 1400 revs. Now notice I can use my left ground speed control pedal to modulate my ground speed without kicking out throttle lock. Allowing us to use throttle lock in everyday type applications to keep that engine running at a nice steady speed. Now 1400 also happens to be the torque band of the engine that's the highest and also the most fuel efficient. So letting the machine purr at 1400 throughout the day is a nice way to run the machine. As you can see, the intelligent high stat powertrain makes the throttle lock feature more than just cruise control on roading applications. You can use it in everyday environments. With that independent control of engine speed and ground speed, you can lock your RPM anywhere from 1,000 to 1,800 RPM. You can use your left foot to modulate your ground speed. So set your RPM, keep your implement speeds high, modulate your ground speed with your left foot so that you're successful in a variety of different applications. Now you can see I like to run with throttle lock around 1400 revs and when I need more power, like the digging cycle, I just push that right pedal all the way to the floor to give me that full 1600 revs in standard mode or 1800 revs in performance mode. And when I let my foot back off the gas, it's going to come back down to that 1400 RPM setting. This makes this machine truly efficiently powerful. As you can see, to get the most out of your new M-Series small wheeler, you're going to need to use a combination of right foot and left foot so that you can separate that engine speed and ground speed. The M-Series small wheelers have been packed with features to help you and your business be successful. For more information, please contact your cat dealer. Now let's go to work.